Hey guys, so I'm really tired. As you can see, I'm covered in sweat right now because I ran how, oh, nine kilometers or so just then and I did not stop whatsoever. I started running from the moment I left my house till the moment I came back and it was the longest that I've gone without stopping. Usually, like when I started off, I, uh, I could only run like three minutes and then I had to stop because I couldn't breathe properly. And now I'm running like nearly 10 kilometers without stopping. It's pretty insane what you can do if you actually like train your body. And I just wanted to make this like really quick video for a few reasons. Number one, because I had no other videos to post this week. So I knew I had to get one up and I'm working tomorrow. So I won't have time to like post one then. And the second reason is because it was like, a little experiment I just did and it was about enhancing my performance when I'm running or just exercising in general and if you're part of like the fitness sort of cardio world <laughs> um, not saying I am really but I'm a runner so I know a bit and I've done my research and I wanted to talk about carbohydrates and the importance of them, especially if you're doing exercise, especially if you're doing cardio, because every single cell in your body runs on carbohydrates. And if you don't give it those carbs, you won't be able to necessarily perform properly. And so normally I go running in the morning at like 5.30 or like six o'clock at the latest. And my performance isn't that bad, but I can't run long distances like I did this afternoon. And it's like 6.30 at the moment now, um, but it's still a bit bright outside, so it's a really nice time to run. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, right, so I still have energy to run in the morning, but not as much as I did today. And I am contributing that to the amount of carbs that I've had today. I've had fruit up until three o'clock and then after that I had some rice with some tomato sauce and some nutritional yeast of course and then also I had like a third of a loaf of bread before I left for my run and I'm contributing my amount of energy that I had to run this afternoon to that bread because my glycogen and just like my glucose stores were so high because I just shoved it with heaps and heaps of carbs before I left. And instead of only being able to run five kilometers, I managed to run nearly double that in a pretty short space of time. And that's just like shows the importance of carbs because it is like your body's main source of energy. Yeah, you can burn fat and protein, but it's very inefficient and it doesn't give you the results that you want especially when it comes to performance like I'm not saying protein and fat aren't important because they are like of course they are um, but in terms of energy for physical activity you really 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 need carbs and people that are on low carb diets and they expect to be able to run 10k or even 5k or 1k they're not going to be able to do very well <laughs> whereas if you get the high carb people, especially high carb vegans that have the most energy, they are able to go the distance and do the amount of activity and reach the results they want. And I just think it's very interesting because I used to be one of those low carb people, not intentionally, but I used to have a fairly low carb diet, very high fat and very high protein. My macros were basically like 30, 40, no, let's say 40% carbs, and then, oh crap, 40% fat and 20% protein, like it was so, so bad, I'm looking back, I just want to kick myself in the head, because I was still doing activity, like physical activity on top of that, and my performance, I thought it was good, but it was terrible, looking back now, because I can do so much more now, with the amount of food that I'm eating, so, Moral of the story guys, if you want to be able to run and you want to be able to do exercise and do all the things you want to do in life, you have to have heaps of carbs in your body because 
back to what I was saying about carbohydrates being your body's main source of fuel, it's like picturing yourself as a car, okay? And imagine yourself as a car. So you, if you want to drive 100 kilometers, you're not going to put in the amount of fuel that can only get you the 50 kilometers like into it. Like it's not going to work. So you have to fuel yourself with heaps of carbs. Your body can hold 15 grams of carbs per kilo of body weight just circulating in your bloodstream and after that then it's stored as glycogen in your liver and then blah 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 all the sciencey anatomy biology sort of thing comes into that but your body needs the carbs guys so get the carbs in please oh, your performance will be so much better and yeah a few girls have actually been asking me Tiana I've seen you've been running or been doing exercising a lot and I want to be able to do that too how can I how can I do that like I'm not a runner and my response is guys I was never a runner I was terrible at running like people would say I was so shit at running I would give myself crap about it because I thought I was like a terrible runner and now I'm able to run far distances with no problem whatsoever like I could have pushed myself today and gone another three or four k honestly but I decided not to because I don't want to wear myself out and I want to go for a run in the morning as well so I don't want to give everything now and then in the morning I'd be able to go half the way um yeah so I just wanted to get this message out there to especially the people that like physical activity but aren't getting the results or can't reach the goals that they want to achieve and yeah just one quick thing before I leave, always make sure if you're exercising in the morning you have a really full glycogen um, tank before you go to bed. And what I mean by that is make sure you have a really carb heavy meal at night time. Like for me, I can easily knock off 1000 calories or yeah, 1000 calories or so for dinner. And then after that I might have, I've been really liking cereal lately. I'll have like cereal and soy milk and like some fruit before I go to bed just to make sure that in the morning I'm full of carbs and I have the energy I can do just to wake up, get the clothes on and run out the door and then run for a while and then come back home. So yeah, that's just a few tips on how to achieve your goals when it comes to fitness. This is probably going to be a very rough uncut video and I'm surprised that I've actually been able to talk for this long without completely screwing up. It's been like eight minutes. Um, but yeah so that's today's video guys and this week's video i guess i'm going to be answering questions from my q a which i sort of talked about in my last video because i hit 5,000 subscribers so there is still chances for you to give me your questions um for me to answer so you can comment them in the description not the description oh, i keep on saying description oh, in the comments below and yeah hopefully i'll get around to your question in the q a so Thanks guys for watching, hopefully this helps some of you out a bit, just have a good day guys, um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, see ya!